Astronomers are continuing to track a newly spotted object, likely a comet, from outside our solar system. The interloper, named 3I Atlas, was first spotted on July 1st. This is not a drill. At 1400 Eastern yesterday, a very important thing happened. NASA's Planetary Defense Office and Harvard astrophysicists called an emergency briefing. Their reason, a truly profound one, is that the interstellar visitor, 3I Atlas, is no longer merely passing by Mars. It is on a verified collision course. And the window to watch this unprecedented event unfold live is shrinking by the hour. Such a unified, urgent call from these leading institutions is incredibly rare, signaling the gravity of the situation. I know, I know, we've all heard those sensational city-killer asteroid headlines before, and frankly, it's easy to become desensitized. But this one, I assure you, is different. This isn't some run-of-the-mill space rock. 3I Atlas is an enigmatic 10 billion tons of metal-rich mystery, an object that has never, ever orbited our sun. It's a true interstellar intruder. Its sheer energy at impact, should it occur, will rival an almost unimaginable 2 million megatons of TNT. To put that into perspective, that's thousands of times the combined power of every single nuclear bomb ever built detonated on a planet we've meticulously spent decades exploring and dreaming about. In the next few minutes, we're going to dive deep into exactly what this emergency briefing revealed, why some scientists are now whispering about an artificial origin for this object, and what the monumental blast could potentially uncover about life on Mars itself. It's a scenario that truly stretches the imagination. This video is sponsored by Upstream. Want to grow your YouTube channel faster? With Upstream, you can run a 24-7 live stream using your pre-recorded videos. Since live streams rank higher in search, you'll gain more views, more subscribers, and more revenue. And it's not just YouTube. Upstream lets you multi-stream to up to 10 platforms, design custom layouts that match your brand, and schedule your content so your channel is live even when you're not. Sign up free today with the link in the description. And if you decide to upgrade, you'll get 20% off your first month. Start streaming smarter with up. The story of 3i Atlas began quietly enough. Atlas, the automated survey telescope system located in Hawaii, first flagged this object in late 2024. Its initial detection was noteworthy because its motion simply did not fit any known solar orbiting path within our system. This immediately set it apart. Within mere hours, the Minor Planet Center logged it as 3I Atlas, marking it as only the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed by humanity. For months, the numbers, based on early observations, confidently predicted it would scream past Mars at an incredible 30 kilometers per second, a fleeting visitor destined to head back into the vastness of deep space. But then, as often happens in the realm of cutting-edge science, the numbers changed. What began as a minuscule, almost imperceptible drift of a few thousandths of an arc second, a truly tiny angular deviation, ballooned into a measurable, undeniable inward bend. This subtle shift, once compounded over vast astronomical distances, became critical. Now JPL's highly sophisticated scout algorithm shows a staggering 97% probability of impact on October 29th, 2025. Just think about that for a moment. An object born around another star, a true alien artifact in a sense, is now poised to literally punch the red planet in under 12 months. The initial chaotic observations and shifting trajectories have now solidified into a terrifying certainty, creating mounting concern among planetary scientists worldwide. What makes this situation even more perplexing, and frankly what's keeping scientists awake at night, is 3I Atlas's highly unusual behavior. Standard comets, as we understand them, tend to wiggle slightly as sunlight boils off their icy surfaces, this outgassing acts like tiny thrusters, subtly steering them. But yet, 3I Atlas shows absolutely zero coma, no visible tail whatsoever, 
defying the typical characteristics of a comet, even an interstellar one. Despite this, its trajectory continues to tighten, almost as if it's being actively guided. Ultraviolet telescopes have recorded three distinct short brightness spikes, each occurring with uncanny precision, exactly 2.4 hours apart, perfectly matching its rotational spin. Adding to the enigma, electromagnetic sensors have caught broadband bursts in the 1 to 2 gigahertz range. This specific chunk of the electromagnetic spectrum is, notably, the same one we actively use for deep space communications here on Earth. Harvard's renowned astrophysicist Avi Loeb, a figure known for his provocative theories, openly told reporters, and I quote, either nature is trolling us with perfect timing or something more engineered is altering the orbit, unquote. While NASA, quite understandably, sidesteps the A word, artificial, the briefing did officially confirm that the object's reflectivity is a remarkable three times higher than that of most asteroids. Furthermore, its mid-infrared signature is unusually flat, suggesting a surface akin to highly polished metal. This combination of factors, from its symmetrical spin to its strange emissions, fuels intense debate. Is this an extraordinary natural event or something far more profound? Let's talk about the raw numbers and convert that immense mass into potential mayhem. 10 billion tons hurtling through space at 30 kilometers per second translates to an impact yielding roughly 8 times 10 to the 21 joules. That's the equivalent of 2 million megatons of TNT, a truly staggering amount of kinetic energy. Such an impact would be enough to carve a crater at perhaps 60 kilometers wide and 5 kilometers deep, absolutely dwarfing even Endeavour Crater, a site that NASA's Opportunity rover meticulously explored for years. The sheer force of the shockwave generated would be so immense that it could liquefy solid rock out to 100 kilometers, transforming the Martian crust into a temporary molten sea. Debris would be flung with such violence that it could reach halfway to Phobos, Mars's inner moon, and inject dust so high and so densely into the Martian atmosphere that its overall density could effectively double for months. If you've ever considered how global dust storms on Mars are powerful enough to knock out our solar-powered rovers, imagine the scale of one kicked off by something massive enough to flash melt subsurface ice across an entire Martian hemisphere. The implications for any existing infrastructure or future missions are profound. Now, here's a fascinating, albeit grim, upside to this potential catastrophe. That same unimaginable carnage could, in effect, crack open Mars like a gigantic geologic pinata. Orbiting spectrometers are being retasked and prepared to observe an expected plume of water vapor, carbon monoxide, and possibly even chlorinated hydrocarbons blasted into view. In other words, this event could expose crucial ingredients for life that we simply cannot dig to with today's rovers and their limited drilling capabilities. Both the ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and NASA's MAVEN spacecraft have been urgently retasked to diligently watch the ejecta plume. If amino acids or other complex polymers, the very building blocks of life, flash into view even for a few days, we could effectively get a free sample return a cosmic biopsy without ever having to land a drill. This event would represent an unparalleled natural experiment. One mission scientist, with a touch of dark humor, joked, we just won the worst kind of cosmic lottery ticket, but we're absolutely going to cash it. While there's the astrobiological dilemma, the potential destruction of delicate biospheres versus the exposure of previously hidden ones, the scientific community is poised to learn. This could reveal ice layers, buried minerals, and perhaps even frozen pockets of ancient organic compounds, advancing our understanding of Mars's habitability and its geological past in ways we could only dream of before. Following the emergency briefing, the global scientific community mobilized with unprecedented speed. Observatories on every single continent have queued their most sensitive instruments, pointing them squarely at 3 Eye Atlas. The Very Large Array, a powerful radio observatory, will be listening intently for any radio echo bouncing off the impact itself. 
the venerable Hubble Space Telescope has paused its scheduled work, now exclusively staring at the predicted impact longitude, a testament to the urgency. Adding another layer of intrigue, Mars orbiters, including ESA's Mars Express, received encrypted uploads labeled Impact Protocol, fueling intense speculation and talk that they might be commanded to hide behind the planet's night side for protection, or perhaps more tantalizingly, to directly image the blast column mere seconds after contact. Meanwhile, the sheer power of distributed science is on full display. Amateur astronomers utilizing everything from backyard 11-inch scopes to sophisticated private observatories are already diligently recording the object's light curve. This crowdsourced data is proving invaluable, tightening the predicted impact footprint to within an increasingly precise 200-kilometer ellipse, currently centered near Elysium Planitia. Even the James Webb Space Telescope and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory have been brought into the observational effort, showcasing a truly global scientific coordination. The short answer to the question everyone is asking is unfortunately a resounding, not a chance. The closure speed of 3i Atlas is double that of our fastest probes, an incredible velocity that leaves no margin for error. Its mass is a hundred times bigger than anything the DART mission, our most advanced deflection experiment, has ever contemplated deflecting. Quite simply, no rocket exists today that could launch a gravity tug or a nuclear package with the necessary velocity and mass in time to intercept it. Even if the engineering challenge were somehow overcome, the legal framework for deploying nuclear payloads in space presents a diplomatic nightmare, fraught with international treaties and profound trust issues. So for the first time in recorded history, the very concept of planetary defense is undergoing a fundamental shift from active prevention and deflection to pure, meticulous observation. Every spectrum, every wobble, every tiny detail is being cataloged, not just for Mars, but as a crucial lesson in case the next interstellar visitor decides Earth is a more appealing target. The window for any meaningful corrective action likely closed weeks ago, shifting our focus entirely to observing, modeling, and perhaps preparing protective measures for Martian infrastructure. Now, for the truly fascinating and unsettling part, the controversy that you likely won't hear discussed on mainstream cable news. Inside that emergency briefing room, a slide starkly labeled Anomaly Origin presented three options for the object's unusual trajectory natural outgassing, solar radiation pressure, or most provocatively, intelligent navigation. When pressed by reporters for clarity on this third highly charged option, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office director maintained a careful line, stating, we follow the data, and the data clearly indicates the orbit is changing faster than known physics predicts. While Harvard's team, less constrained by official protocol, quietly circulated a preprint paper arguing that the object's peculiar light curve perfectly matches that of a thin, highly reflective sheet. Yes, very much like a light sail. This ties back to the earlier observations of its high reflectivity and polished metal signature. The tension in the room and within the scientific community is palpable. No one is explicitly claiming aliens, yet crucially, nobody is dismissing the possibility either. This profound uncertainty the scientific tightrope walk between extraordinary natural phenomena and engineered origins is precisely why every new image and data point is classified for 24 hours before public release, a move critics are already calling science secrecy in real time, fueling further speculation and debate. If you want the next raw images and the latest data as soon as the embargo lifts, please hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so YouTube actually tells you when we post. Impact Day is now less than a year away, and the critical data will be coming in daily. In mission control rooms across the globe, two distinct clocks are now running simultaneously, one meticulously counting down to the October 29th perihelion, the object's closest approach to the sun, and another tracking the shrinking but still present 13-minute uncertainty window centered at 1641 UTC. That uncertainty, representing a vast expanse of potential impact sites, is thankfully shrinking by a million kilometers every single week. For those with a passion for astronomy, if you own a telescope capable of hitting magnitude 19, the precise coordinates are posted in the description below. 
Every extra data point, every new observation crucially trims that risk corridor. And right now, it's a testament to the power of distributed science that amateur measurements are actually shifting the impact ellipse more significantly than professional ones, simply because there are so many more backyard scopes tracking this object around the clock. This collective effort is truly remarkable. So here we are, humanity, a species that still occasionally argues about Pluto's planetary status, now collectively watching a visitor from another star reshape a planet right next door. Whether 3 i Atlas ultimately proves to be a random, albeit extraordinary, rock, or, more profoundly, a deliberate calling card from an unseen intelligence, its arrival will undeniably rewrite textbooks across multiple disciplines – astronomy, planetary science, and astrobiology. Mars will forever bear a fresh, colossal scar, a geological monument that we can study and ponder for centuries to come. Every instrument in our solar system, from Earth-bound observatories to Mars orbiters, is being jury-rigged, retasked, and pushed to its limits to watch this unfolding drama. It's a moment that reminds us of our place in the vast, mysterious cosmos. Keep your eyes on the skies, stay curious, and as always, keep looking up.